This gentleman uh, lives in England. Um, he was in the home of a, I guess you could say, influential rich gentleman there. Through an, e through an email forum, internet forum, about the discoveries, I have kind of known Mr. Thane, you know, for 10 or 12 years. He seems to be very trustworthy. Um, and so this was his account of what happened. Ron White had given uh, the other gentleman 10 or 12 copies of the VHS tape presentation of discoveries that w was made in the mid-1990s. Mm -hmm. And at the end of one of the tapes was some raw footage that Ron White had shot in the cave there with the Ark of the Covenant. Mm. Apparently he had used this tape for shooting video over there in Israel and it, maybe it wasn't labeled and the presentation of discoveries had been copied onto it but at the end was this raw video shot on location there in the cave. Mm -hmm. But uh, he was sitting there in the living room and he saw the video camera pan around the cave, seeing the table of showbread, altar of incense. And then when it got to the Ark of the Covenant, there was this bright light covering it. But he could see the ornate detail on the altar of incense, the table of showbread. Uh, but at the time, he wasn't taking detailed notes in his head because he thought this video would be made public. But um, we're sending someone to his home to videotape his testimony about this, to use it in some future uh, DVD. But today, it's been about 20 years, and the homeowner has gotten older and can't remember this videotape. Pues que han intentado llevar a, a, a personas para coger el testimonio de esta persona, pero esta persona se ha vuelto, bueno, se ha hecho mayor, se ha hecho vieja y no lo re, ya no lo recuerda. Porque hace ya 20 años. Hace, sí, perdón, hace, porque hace ya 20 años. O sea, esta persona a lo mejor no, ya tiene algún tipo de... Sí, no lo, eso no lo ha dicho aquí alguien, pero sí que se puede intuir. Bueno, que, no, 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 vale, vale, de acuerdo, ok. Mr. Thane went back to the house with a friend of mine to ask him about the videotape some years back, and the man couldn't even remember that he had such a thing. Well, maybe, bueno, puede ser que el mismo Dios esté protegiendo esas filmaciones. Tal y como le dijo a Ron que deberían ser mostradas en el momento adecuado. Yeah. The fact that he brought this friend of mine with him back to that house kind of gives confirmation to me that he was telling the truth. Mm -hmm. If you're making it up, you don't want to bring someone with you, you know, and then be turned down by the person who had the tape. It's like he went there um, with full knowledge that this really happened, you know, Mr. Thane. Okay. But Mr. Thang's account is on our website if you want to take a look at it and read it, uh, what, of what he saw there in the cave. He didn't mention any color, so I assume it was just a white, you know, it's the white, white light probably. <coughs> But again, about Noah's Ark, though, you know, over the years, many people have applied for permits. No one's ever been granted an excavation permit, and that's, you know, not our fault that the government won't allow it or universities won't take up the project. Um, it, it, to me, it's Satan trying to stop it from being excavated. But I've contacted numerous universities, archaeologists, paleontologists, about taking up this project, and I told them I would furnish the funds through corporate funding if they would just take up the project, but they all have said no.
Okay. And they would refer me to some Christian schools who had archaeology programs, including Seventh-day Adventists. And of course, none of these, I contacted them, and none are interested in taking up the project, unfortunately. Por qué, uh, por qué crees que aún hoy en día, después de todas las muestras de pruebas que se han presentado, aún hay ese rechazo de, de la misma iglesia adventista a todos los descubrimientos? Because it's not popular to stand for the truth. Throughout the world, those who stood for the truth are a small number, and they've been criticized. The conference doesn't want to be criticized. Of course, in the archaeology community, if anything major is found, they'll look at your credentials to see if they'll believe it. If you don't have an archaeology degree, they're not going to believe anything you found, because you have to be a trained archaeologist to find something important in their mind. Entonces, en esa línea de pensamiento, si tú no eres un pastor con estudios de teología, no puedes evangelizar. And what they're saying too is that miracles cannot happen. God cannot use someone to bring something out. Only they, the trained high Doctors of archaeology can find something. You cannot, even if God uses you. The Horn Archaeology Museum at Andrews, back late 80s, 1990, they issued a statement regarding Ron Wyatt and the discoveries. Anyone inquired about him, they would release this statement to them. Which museum? Horn Archaeology Museum, H-O-R-N-E, Horn. This was a letter in response to a letter Ron had sent them, inviting them to come to his home and look at the discoveries, look at the evidence, the deck timber, the sulfur balls, other things. And in response to that, they issued this letter. Ron was being generous, welcoming them, inviting them into this truth, but the tone of that letter sounds like Satan himself wrote it. The, the, the answer. The tone of the letter that they wrote was evil. Okay. They would say things. <laughs> oh no. They would. With this proof, we are, we are, this demonstration that we are in Istanbul. Okay. One of the things they mention in this letter is, how could someone on their vacation find major archaeological discoveries, such as the Noah's Ark, Ron took his two-week vacation and went out there, had three days in the area, and God stopped the taxi three times where they needed to look. You know, they have, they're totally discrediting him. They're saying there's no way you could find something on your vacation. Um, and they use that as an attack against Ron. And again, once again, they're saying God cannot work through you. O sea, simplemente el argumento era que era imposible encontrar todo eso en tan poco tiempo. So, uh, so what, are you, what you're telling us is that the main reason of, the, of that letter is the, is the next statement. You cannot find such a great thing in that little bit of a time. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's impossible for someone to find it Noah's Ark in three days. And uh, so these, you know, these are basically people that uh, are not believing totally in what God can do. Wouldn't believe anything Ron is saying, basically. Basically calling Ron a liar. So the whole tone of the letter was like that, negative, negative, negative. And they say, you want us to come to your home? You call that archaeology? Pulling out these items yourself? So recently, Dr. Hassel from Southern Adventist University 
sent out an email when he heard I was doing presentations. Oh. Dr. Hass, he would send these, this email out to pastors to try to keep them from letting me come into the church to do a presentation. And he says, it's long been proven that that Noah's Ark site is not real. They're preventing you. Even though the History Channel aired a testimony from Dr. Sally Brack-Tutin of Ataturk University stating that it is the Ark. He is a geologist, Ph.D. And even though Dr. Robert Mickelson, who went with us to the Ark in 2009, he's been out there numerous times. You can see him on Wikipedia, Robert Mickelson. He believes it's the Ark. He gives a three-hour presentation on it. So the, these Adventist archaeologists have dug a hole for themselves. They have denied, 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 and they're at a point where they will never believe any of the discoveries because it's going to hurt their reputation because they will be saying they were wrong. And even though Dr. Herschel Shanks editor of the Biblical Archaeology Review says that Jabal El Laz, the mountain Ron found in Saudi Arabia, is Mount Sinai. They don't care. They give that no credibility for some reason. And then it's got the, what, the archaeological, the biblical, uh, biblical Archaeology Review. It's a magazine, important. Digamos que la expedición, la expedición, la como entre comillas digamos la enciclopedia arque arqueológica bíblica su editor dice que el monte de Arabia Saudí que Ron Wyatt dice que es el monte Sinaí lo pone en esa enciclopedia y que aún así la Iglesia Adventista rechaza lo de Arca. And even though Mahoney Media is doing a major documentary on the Mount Sinai and the Red Sea Crossing has spent millions of dollars. They have found the chariot wheels at the Red Sea. They have been to Mount Sinai. Have our archaeologists done any of that? No, they don't care. They don't want to be proven wrong. Who? Who did that investigation on the, on the Red Sea and the Mount Sinai? Who? Uh, Mahoney Media, they've come out with the documentary, the first of two, they have a website, PatternsOfEvidence.com. Who are these people, the uh, Mahoney Media? It's an independent film company. The first part has been shown in film festivals this year around the country, has won, won all kinds of awards, but it's just on the part of the children of Israel being in Egypt. Many film festivals around the country, it's winning all kinds of awards. The second part should actually be on the Red Sea Crossing and Mount Sinai. They had so much material, they needed to break it into two parts, the documentary. <laughs> so you have different parties confirming what Ron is saying about these discoveries, but our Adventist archaeologists, they're just totally out of touch. <laughs> Volviendo otra vez a la expedición que hemos realizado en estos últimos eh, días, eh, es interesante como mm, mencionar como la manera en la que, salvando las diferencias desde luego, la manera en que Ron fue guiado en sus descubrimientos en esos tres días, ¿no? como también eh, este pequeño grupo, un grupo humilde, un grupo sin formación arqueológica, eh, sin sin ningún tipo de eh, título arqueológico, pues ha encontrado cosas, Dios le ha guiado a cosas que antes no estaban o que antes no se habían visto, también en tres, tres días y medio, ¿eh? en poco tiempo.